Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler back here from Fishing the SRQ. Today, doing a real review of the Tsunami Evict 3000. Stick with me, just a second. There's some more today. A ladyfish. Look at this piece on that thing. Okay, we're gonna quickly get to the point of this video, the Evix 3000. Please, before we do, like and subscribe. Please, new channel, we got this. Let's go team fishing the SRQ. As we take our first look at a real Dissiomi Evix 3000, as I've owned for about a year, and this is my ownership review of the reel after a year, showing you quirks, features, I got some, Tomorrow. But um, anyways, quirks, features, stuff like that. Um, if you guys want to look, see this reel in action, go check out my Mega Sun Pass Slick video. It's right up there. That's a really good video. Really big so Check that out. Let's go quickly. Quickly, I want to address the small dot side of this reel, which I do notice. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's just from salt, but this thing does stick. A lot you wash it off and it does get better but I have had this issue quite a bit as with any reel it must be noted don't get mad at me it gets dunked a lot so it does get dunked but just so you guys know it does stick at the bottom of the cycle like right right at the bottom of the cycle it can stick sometimes you just reel through it and get it fixed it's no big thing but you just wash it down every time you use it Real steering it fixed. Of course, this is a sealed reel. It's sealed very well. No water gets in there. I check afterwards. If you see any water on that, that's from me washing it to keep it nice and good. I do take good care of my reels. But this has been dunked in water a lot. It's a very nice stainless steel body. I have a 20 pound yellow braid on it. And I fish that with 20 pound leader on a Tsunami um, Carbon Shield 7 foot fast action rod. You guys want to know the rod type. One thing I did notice about this is the bearing on this is incredible. When I'm washing this thing down, I spray it with water, this thing will go for three, four minutes. It will spin, which is very high quality for a minimal part such as that. Very similar to what you see on something like the um, Pen Slammer. It has a very similar thing. If you want to check out my pants, Pen Slammer review should be up here. But also, I've caught many a big snook on this. If you guys want to check it out, check out my video, Stump Pass Mega Snook. Got some real big snook on this exact combo right here. It's this exact lure. The um Z Man pal um Z Man Pinfish Paddle Tail. But anyways, it's a great reel. I've been very I've been very happy for the one year I've owned it. It's a great reel. I recommend it to any. That's the quirks and features of it. Thank you guys for watching, and please, please subscribe. See you guys later.